Cool. Welcome. Welcome. We are live from the quarantine. We're going to tape this class. So, um, and then this will be our Tuesday, our Tuesday class. Um, story of the day. I really like this story. And it is, um, this, the theme for the month is teamwork. All right, not being individuals, but really supporting each other as, 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 uh, as in, in, uh, to be more successful when we support each other. Um, so there was this, uh, uh, this boss at this job, and she had this really, really incredibly talented team, but the team was not working well together at all. Like everybody was like on their own little island, working individually. And so she decided to do a retreat with them. So she brought them to a Training for Warriors gym, not this Training for Warriors gym, but a Training for Warriors gym. And um, she had hundreds and hundreds of balloons everywhere. And the, the, these, the people that um, were, the, the workers, or the employees had never been to a Training for Warriors before. So they were like, okay, why are we in a gym? Why are there balloons, you know? And she had a stack of balloons in the middle of the floor that hadn't been inflated yet. So she said, go over, your first test is to grab an, a balloon, blow it up, and then write your name on that balloon. And if it pops, you get one more chance, but if, you, if it pops, then twice, you're out, all right? So there were 35 people, 30 people made it to the next round, five people's balloon, balloons popped twice, so they didn't make it to the next, the next round. It sounds really sad, you know? It's like, oh, God, so unforgiving. Anyway, so then, she sent them all out into the parking lot. She took their balloons and she mixed them up with all the hundreds of other balloons that were unnamed. She called the 30 people back in and she said, now you have five minutes to find your balloon with your name on it. They spent five minutes looking for their balloons. Nobody could find their names. She said, next test, you're gonna find anybody's balloon and give them their balloon. And they found it in under, everybody had their balloons in under five minutes. And her, her, her point was, working together, you are more efficient, you know, as opposed to sometimes when you just spread yourself so thin that you can't even accomplish the task, but really relying on each other, you know. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here at Training for Warriors. We're trying to be better together, right? Even, even if we're on Zoom, even if we're doing the YouTube workouts or whatever, we're still, we're still better together when we can motivate each other and really pump each other up. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to start with jumping jacks. I'm going to count the first five. If you're not doing jumping jacks, you're going to be doing body squats or following along with hand motions, okay? I'm going to count the first five. You're going to count the second five and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set. Here we go. I'm losing my mic. And one, <laughs> two, three, full jump. Five, four, five, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> It's like I've forgotten how to do jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, Chris, really loud. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. All right. We are going to start standing up. And we are going to do small arm circles small arm circles here we go as you go around and around you're gonna get bigger and bigger more range of motion here we go getting big going slow Woo! nice take it the other way small to start 
Did everybody have a fun, safe 4th of July? Yeah? I slept through it. <laughs> Did everybody have to sedate their animals? No. I didn't have to give her a pill, but she definitely was unhappy. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, let's go ahead and go in this horizontal plane. He stubbed it on, on his bed. He was not saving five children from a burning building. Yeah, <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> Stub your toe on your bed, not, not saving five children from a burning building. No. Poor, vertical, guys, vertical, here we go, yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> All right, now. So spread out those legs. I'm gonna touch opposite hand. Come all the way up. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Welcome, first 430 class peoples. You all chose to be here. <laughs> All my early peoples. All right. Let's go ahead and grab our bands. Our bands. I'm going to start with pull apart. So I want to line up my wrists with my shoulders. I'm going to bring the band across my chest, really squeezing those shoulder blades at the back. Ten times. Then we're gonna do over and overs, over and overs and overs. So Silver Falls was nice, Joji. I'm sorry. Silver Falls was nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Wow, feeling it. <laughs> All right, guys, up underneath our pits. Pushing out, come back in. Pushing out, come back in. Yeah. I want you to really extend through those arms and squeeze those glutes. Nice. All right, stepping on our bands. Going to do some RDLs, reaching down low, really bringing that butt to that back wall, squeezing those glutes forward at the top, coming back over, staying in those arms, staying in those lats, guys. Don't let those arms pull out of the sockets. Keep that back really flat. Yeah. <laughs> I read this this kind of kind of funny meme today. It was um, we should all start pronouncing the L in salmon because nothing matters anymore anyway. <laughs> I was like, oh God, that's where we are right now. Bend over row, guys, bend over row. <sighs> yep, really pulling that butt to that back wall. All right, widening out those feet. If you can do a banded squat, fantastic. If not, just drop your band. Getting those knees out there, pushing out. Nice. And 10. Yeah, y'all. We did the thing. We did the warm up. All right. Gotta get some water. So, hmm. Beep, beep. I feel like I'm 
I think you're okay. Because we have, we have multiple clocks. We have that clock, we have that clock over there. It's really just to check your rest, you know? So, all right guys. So, what we're gonna be doing next is, we're gonna be doing uh, dumbbell front squats for our first circuit. So let's do this all together. So I'm gonna widen out my feet just a little bit, and then I'm gonna hold my dumbbells like this. Now, if I've grabbed too heavy of a dumbbell, I can just drop one, that's fine. But if you can, I would love for you to do 10 squats like this, coming down, yeah, and then really squeeze those glutes at the top. Yeah, point those toes out just a little bit more, Jennifer. There you go, yeah. Nice, good depth, guys. That looks beautiful. All right. Then we are just gonna grab one for this one. And this is gonna be our single leg RDL. So we're gonna do 12 on each side. You can either kickstand this and put that foot down or that toe down, or you can lift that leg up. But the thing is, I don't want you to put weight on that back foot, all right? All that weight stays in that front foot. As you reach over, come back up, squeeze that glute at the top. Come over, and so what you're doing is, just go like this. Yeah, yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm keeping my weight up here the whole time, and if I'm kickstanding, I'm bringing my butt to that back wall and I'm coming over that knee. I, actually, I'm doing that either way, all right? I wanna make sure that I have that bend in that knee, and I'm bringing that knee over that ankle as I bring that butt back. Do you see a difference with that? Yeah, how's that feel? Yeah, I think you got you have to get more bend in that in that front knee and get over that, that ankle more. Yeah, there you go. Is it better to do legs suspended and not as deep? Or um, I'd rather you get that hamstring activation. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're doing 12 on each side, guys. It's a burner. So we're not bending, not coming down like this in a squat, we're coming over more in an RDL, right? So I'm really pulling that butt to that back wall and that's gonna get that knee over that ankle as I come forward. I think I've done 20 on that side. I'm gonna switch it out now. <laughs> Whew. How's that weight feel? Sandra, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, if your weight's too heavy, you can shave off some reps. But I would love for you to try to get all of those 12 reps in. There you go. Can you kickstand it just a little bit further back? There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, Ricardo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna put down both of our weights we're gonna grab our bands. So, we're gonna do a squat iso hold with band pull apart. So I'm gonna come into my deep squat, but I'm not gonna sit down into it, right? I'm gonna keep active with this. My, hand, my, uh, my um, wrist come directly out from my shoulders, and then I'm gonna do a pull apart. So, I'm gonna watch the clock for 30 seconds with this. So either watch that clock or watch that clock, okay? And then we're gonna go for it. And, I'm going. <laughs> 30 seconds. Woo! What the what? Josh, you're evil! Ah! Ah, he sucks too. Uh, yeah! Woo! All right! Actually, we're gonna count that set. That's not gonna be a warm-up set. We're gonna count that one, okay? We're gonna do three sets of these. So that was one. Yikes. <laughs> All right, guys, and then we're gonna rest for about 60 seconds. So yeah, watch the clock again. Grab some water. Those, um, those RDL, those single leg RDLs are really difficult to feel like what the right motion of it is. But if you can really think about 
when you're coming down, you're, you're doing the same thing with an RDL where you're really pulling that butt to that back wall, all right? So I'm coming over, and as I'm coming over, that's when I get the bend in my knee. So I'm not trying to get deep with this, right? If I was getting deep, this is a squat, this is deep, right? My RDL is more about getting into those hamstrings. So I'm not, it's not a squat, okay? Are you, I feel like you're especially on this leg, like right on my, my butt. Yes. Are you feeling it back here? A little bit. A little bit. My foot is burning. Your foot is burning, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're really trying hard to keep balance with that. If too, you have a little bit of lifting your heel, if you want to take off your shoes and just be in your socks, you can do that. So that's, that's, an, that's an option too, because um, sometimes our, our shoes have so much lift in it that it makes it a little wobbly. But we want to really think about that tripod of that foot, keeping us stable in the big toe, the pinky toe, and the other toe. All right, let's get back into it with our dumbbell front squats. Exhale at the top. Woo! All right. Holding it up. Either kickstanding. Kickstanding is not bad at all. I just don't want you to put weight into that back foot. You're just lightly touching that toe so that you don't fall over. How's that, Jennifer? You're making. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, good. If you need a PVC pipe for stability, let me know. Okay. I think this is working. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you're really feeling this in that standing hamstring and that standing glute. The glute should be on a fire. And then, for the best part, that squat ISO hold for 30 seconds. If you want to slow down time, go into a plank. If you want to slow down time more, go into a squat ISO hold. glorious seconds of rest eek oh my god it's like a vacation ah so guys I really really want you to try hard to get into that parallel position so knee lined up with hip where you're in that squat try to get it low if you can that'd be great Whew. Whew. My water. this is three we're doing three sets. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that's right. I don't know why I was thinking that you could, yeah. <laughs> I can't read it and I wrote it, so it's fine, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is on there, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That was. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, it feels good to be alive. Ah! All right. Don't pay attention to that. I'm going to start the clock over again, though, so we have more seconds. More seconds, please. All right, this is our last set. All right. Woo! Got that. Joe, you feeling it in the hamstring? Do you feel it in your hamstring, Joe? You don't? So I want you to really think about pulling that butt back to that back wall. I want you to stay up here. Yeah. The whole time. There you go. There you go. set of these beauties. Nice, Juliana. Good depth, good depth. Good, Ricardo. Nice job, guys. Yep, 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 yep. You got it, you got it, you got it. Is that illegal? Is, you move your arms faster? <laughs> you, you do whatever it takes. <laughs> if it moves time quicker to move your arms faster. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get water. Woo. Ah. That was definitely a thing. All right. This next one is really, really cool. And I really, I really like this, uh, this next exercise. So, and I don't think we've done it in here before. So that makes it even more fun. Yay. What we're gonna do, and you're just gonna watch me because you're gonna rest while, while I demo this next part of the circuit. We're gonna do a, a bridge with a single arm press. All right. So I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna come up into my press. I'm sorry, my bridge. Now I'm gonna press it up. Then I'm just gonna do one arm for all my reps. And that is 10. After I've done 10 on the one arm, I'm gonna take my other arm and do 10. All right, so your tendency is gonna to be to have your hips drop as you're doing this. Keep reminding yourself to keep those hips up, all right? So all 10 on one side, both arms are extended, all 10 on the other side, all right? And then we have our dumbbell bent row with a pause at the top. So, same thing, I want you to get into that beautiful hinge position, stay in those lats. Then when you do your bent row, you're gonna be here, you're gonna count 1,000. Then you're gonna come back down. Come back up, 1,000, all right? I want a nice full one second pause at the top with the bent row. And then our dumbbell thruster, we're gonna do 12 of those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in a squat, you come up into your thruster and then you're gonna catch back down into it. Catch back down into it, all right? Pump back up. Right after you get down, boom, you're exploding back up again, all right? 12 of those. Three sets of each of those. Then 
on our third set of our dumbbell thruster, we're gonna AMRAP it. So that means as many reps as possible. So you're gonna try to get more than 12 if you can. That would be fantastic. Yeah? Then we're gonna count it, and then we're gonna post it on Facebook. It's gonna be awesome. All right. Was that 10, uh, 10 rows? Yep, and then uh, 10 uh, with the alt leg, uh, I'm sorry, the alt um, arm bench press, and then 12 of the uh, dumbbell thrusters. All right, so butts up, hips up, both arms up, really squeeze those shoulder blades together, guys, like you're doing the bench press. Keep those hips up. So Chris, both arms up, both arms up. Yep, there we go. As soon as that tricep touches the ground, it comes back up again. Keep those hips up. And then you're switching it out. Hips never come down the entire time. All right. Woo! Then I got my bent row with pause. So really pulling that butt back. I want to feel this in the hamstrings. 1,000. 2,000. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. Feels impressive that way, doesn't it? All right. 10,000 reps. Wah ha. Then I got my 12 thrusters, all right? So coming down. Boom, power up. Down, power up. 12. Six. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12. Woo! 60 seconds of rest. That's a lot of arm work because we're holding on to the dumbbells the entire time it's nuts Woo! josh is getting real creative real creative with these programs Woo! i bet even if you hate running you wish you were those people right now <laughs> running by and not doing 12 thrusters <laughs> that's brutal all right, but well we got this. Because we are warriors. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> we are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, farmer. Yeah, farmer's insurance. <laughs> All right. Isn't it nice that we're on the ground right now? Woo! All right, guys, really squeeze those hips up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together the entire time. Both shoulder blades. Slow it down. That one you're not going fast with. Okay. Okay, they give me more reps. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, 1,000, 2,000. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Yeah. Like you're pulling on heavy pants, guys. Bringing those weights right up to those hips. Yeah. And I got my thrusters. Glad I picked the weights I did. 
All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Woo! What the what? One minute rest. You got this. Good job picking up the one weight. That was a good, good choice, Ricardo. Yeah, guys, so if those thrusters are getting to be a little much, just grab the one weight. It's fine. Boom. I just want you to really explode out and really squeeze those glutes at the top. And then you're coming right back down into it, recoiling up. All right. So, guys, this is going to be our last set. And with this, we're going to am wrap that last set of dumbbell thrusters. So, try really hard. 15, 13, whatever it takes. Just get, try to get one more, one more than the 12. All right. Really squeeze those shoulder blades, guys. Don't forget those shoulder blades. So I'm not reaching out of my shoulder socket. I'm keeping those shoulder blades together. Hips up, hips up. 10 on each side. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. Yeah, woo! Ha 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 ha. I got my bent rows. Just keep those lats on. Once you get those dumbbells up to those hips, there we go. Squeeze those shoulders at the back and give me that pause. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Woo, yay. Now we get to do some thrusters, all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Okay, that's it for me. Woo! Ah! Boom, 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 boom. Nice. All right, guys, let's rest. And then we have our tendon work. What? With our resistance bands. Tendon work. Woo! Getting some nice, healthy tendons by doing high, high, high reps. All right? So, we're gonna be doing banded squats. We're gonna catch our breath for a second. Ah. Ah. Who liked those uh, single arm presses from the floor with the bridge? No? Joe, you asked for more arm stuff. <laughs> Ricardo did. I know, I thought those were fun. I like that variation. Oh man, 
Man, Jennifer will learn not to listen to me next time. <laughs> Joe's like, I already have big arms. I don't need to work on my arms anymore. <laughs> Got all the arms. All right, guys. We are doing three sets of 60. Now, if you want to, you can break it into three sets of 20, three sets of 40, however you want to do it, all right? But we're still doing three sets, okay? So widening out those feet, having her band up here. All right, now also, if you want to try 60 without the band, you can do that too. You know, and maybe just do a prisoner squat where your hands are behind your head, all right? But we're just providing a little bit of resistance since we're not using dumbbells. And we're going for it. One, two, three. I just want to make sure that you get that depth. Between how many ever sets you're doing or uh, reps you're doing? Was 60. Oh man. Chris, you did 60? Okay, cool. Woo! Minute of rest. Huh. That takes some time. 60. That takes some time. Ah, my elbows are sweating. <laughs> I don't sweat. And then I just have like the weirdest things. Like it's just like, okay, now my elbow pits are sweating. Okay, that's just weird. Ah. All right. I'm trying to get three sets in of how many ever you can do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Cheer us on, Coach Josh. Cheer us on. 
<laughs> He's so awful. Do you, no. They go. I like it. If you put on that friggin' Sonic the Hedgehog song, I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Oh. You feeling okay, Ricardo? Do you have a cramp, Ricardo? Yeah, yeah. All right, I lost count, so I'm doing as many as Chris is doing. Five more? Nice. I dream that Sonic the Hedgehog song. I dream it. All right, where are you at? Three sets at 30? Cool, what did you? Three sets at 25? Where are you at, Jennifer? I did like 50 total, but three at a time. Okay, how you doing, Joe? 10, 12, Okay, yeah. Three sets of five. Bravo. Bravo. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. You got one more setting, you Chris? Yeah? All right. All right. Maybe just, if you can, am wrap this last one. I don't care if it's five. I don't care if it's 10. Just see how many you can do. All right. <sighs> Six, seven, if you're done, go ahead and do some cat cow stretches. Just want to get them done. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's grab our mats. Do our dessert. All right. So guys, for our homework, we're gonna set it up like a Tabata. So it's gonna be 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of push-ups, 20 seconds of mountain climbers. I don't care if you do cross-body mountain climbers or regular mountain climbers, whatever feels better on you. 
I just want you to make sure that you get those hands over those wrists. All right. And you're here, your butt's down. You're either going cross body or you're doing regular. Those hurt my hip for some reason. That's why I always do cross body. And then for the push-ups, if you need an elevated surface for your push-ups, you can either do your archer planks where your feet are out, you're dragging that hand along that chest, or you can do eccentric push-ups where you'd go a slow lower down, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then get back up again, all right? Just five of those. I mean, I'm sorry, 20 seconds of those. I'm just making up shit now. So wait till the timer goes. You can start with them, whatever you want. Ah. Here we go, 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, it's, it, you can do whatever. As long as you're doing 20 seconds of work. All right, nice. Transitioning. I'm gonna go and do my archer planks next instead of push-ups. And I got my mountain climbers. <laughs> so off camera with that one. All right, here we go, guys. And we're going. Try to get that full range of motion, getting that knee to elbow. And we're done. So. Now we got a little bit of time left in class. And since I just worked the crap out of those hips, we're doing seven way hips. So even though we just did dessert, now this is gonna be breakfast for dinner. Even better, right? Laying on our sides, supporting our head with our hand. My body is stacked, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders. My other hand comes in front of me like this to support me from keeping rolling forward. I'm gonna raise and lower that leg. I'm not going high with it, all right? I want you to dorsal flex that foot. Keep that toe pointed down towards the ground 10 times. And then from there, you're gonna go 10 from the middle forward. Middle forward. Small movements, small movements. From there, you're gonna go center to back, center to back. You should feel this in that glute when you bring that leg back. All right, and then fully forward to fully back. Fully forward to fully back. Keeping that distance in between those legs. So Chris, I want you to lean more forward. There you go. Yeah, and I want you to get your body like really lined up straight in a, in a line. Yeah, there you go. All right, from there, after you've done 10 forward and 10 back, you're gonna do 10 small circles forward. <laughs> 10, and then you're gonna do 10 circles back or how many ever you can get. These are just small. Nine, 10, and then big, huge bicycles, 10 of those. Woo! Oh no. If you can't move it, then that's okay. You've just done a bunch of stuff. That's okay. <sighs> <laughs> now you gotta give love to your other side, Ricardo. Oh, 
Yeah, so we're really stacking, guys. We're really making sure that our knees and our ankles and our hips and our shoulders are all in a straight line. 10 leg lifts. Oh my God, I am so pathetically off camera. It's unbelievable. <laughs> And then 10 center to forward. Ten center to back. And then fully forward to fully back. Ten small circles forward. Nine, ten. Ten circles back. Nine, ten. And then big, huge bicycles. Two. Ten. What? You guys, you just did all the things. All the things. I'm super, super proud of you. That was a pretty intense workout. Yeah? Um, bringing it back to story of the day. We make each other stronger together, right? We make each other smarter together. We make each other more efficient together. Yeah? Look, you came in. You all worked out together. We got it done. So good, that was, that was hard guys, you killed it. Give yourself a round of applause, woo! All right, so. I'm using Hilda, yeah. I'm Yeah, I'm, you're, you're the person doing all the stuff because I'm gonna be coaching oh. you doing it. <laughs> Communication. We still got it, we oh. still got it. We, we never fail.